So welcome back to the Pride of Edinburgh as the start of our second season is about to get underway. Now before we get into the thicker things, I want to bring you back up to speed with the ins and the outs of the transfers for Hibs this season. Been busy in the transfer market. Let's take a look at some of the players that have come in and come out. Edinburgh, home of royalty, culture, and tradition. It's also home of two classic Scottish clubs, but there's only room for one of them. Welcome to the Pride of Edinburgh. So let's take a look at some of the ins and the outs of our transfer business uh, for the start of the new season. First and foremost, let's look at some of the outs. Anthony Stokes has joined St. Johnson for just under £100,000. I'm not a biggest fan. I'm not his biggest fan, to be honest with you, as a player and also in the game. He never really did anything for me. And as in the real world, he is a bit of a dick. I uh, got in a bit of a scrap with an Elvis personator in this time at Blackburn. Or, or was it at his earlier time in Hibs? Either way, not a fan. He's gone. Lewis Stevenson just said, celebrated... Uh, his testimonial last season, he is now a Motherwell player. We got rid of him as also we got rid of Stephen Whitaker. He's now on the books of Ross County, managed by our favourite Owen Coyle. Uh, then we let Sam Stanton leave, which could have been a bit, might be a bit of a blunder. He looks like a decent player. I never really gave him any action. Actually, in fact, he was actually at Dundee's rivals, Dundee United, all loan last on loan last season, and he actually not, not too bad. Played thirty odd games. We also released Scott Martin, who has since joined uh, Saint Mirren. As for the rest of these guys, all out on loan. Fraser Murray has joined Dunfermline. Ross Ladlaw, uh, the backup goalkeeper, had Celtic sniffing around. I actually kind of screwed him over with that one. Uh, priced him out of a move. But he's now joined Alawa on loan, as has Brian Laird and Marcel de Jabrowski. Or Dabrowski, another goalkeeper, Polish. He's joined our broth. Now, players coming in. We brought Andy Ryan from Dunfermline for just... Uh, around about 100 grand. He proved to be a bit of a goal scorer last season in the championship for Dunfermline, uh, who are now in the Premier League. So he snapped him up 100 grand. Maybe he can uh, make the switch up a level. We also brought in Jamie Lindsay. Now, this player was originally on Celtics books. He had a couple of loans uh, at Morton and uh, most recently Ross County. I thought he could add to our midfield as is David Wilson, another midfield option. 23 years of age, uh, still quite young. He had a decent season in the championship with Dumbarton as well. So another option. We also brought in Keith Watson, who is a right back. He was on the books of, is it St. Johnston? Yeah, St. Johnston. He went out on loan to Hartlepool last season. Uh, so he might not be up to speed. In fact, we used to have him before my time on loan. Played nine games, but he's back. Uh, it's just another... A set of set of feet to compete with the right back. And then we brought in this fella. His actual name is something else. Where is it? Uh, Eton Erton Fajazalu. But I'm going to call him Fez. Um, he's been all around the world playing football. Sweden, Denmark, Holland, China. Most recently with Sweden, scored 14 goals, 21 games. Not a bad return. So I'm hoping he can do the do the business. In Scotland. Then we brought in Timothy Tillman from Bayern München uh, on loan. A very, very hot prospect, 19 years of age. He's got the world of football at his feet and hopefully he can give us a good season. We also got in Franco Lazzaroni, left back. Uh, he could be my signing of the season, formerly of Atletico Raffaella in the Premier B Nationale. Uh, actually, was I think this was one of my scouts. Uh, uh, finds, but uh, it's been all around Argentina. Now he's here in Scotland. We also picked up Jordan Thompson, uh, another youngster, Northern Irish, was on Rangers books, uh, but he's now in my under-21, so we're looking at him in a couple of years or so. Jai, Jai Quintongo, we looked at him all season uh, when he was with, was it Hamilton? Uh, Morton, Greenwich Morton, uh, was sniffing around there, but couldn't afford the transfer, but he's since joined Norwich on a permanent deal, but we've got him on loan for the season. We've also got Thomas Glover between the sticks, young Australian goalkeeper from Tottenham. Uh, he'll be battling with Marciano uh, for, uh, in, in, between the, in between the sticks. Alec Georgian, young right back from Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, he's joined us on the uh, for the season. No cost for, to us whatsoever. We also brought in Vlad Dragomir, a Romanian attacking midfielder, can also play up front from Arsenal. Hopefully he'll do a little bit better than the last uh, low knee we got from Arsenal, Mike Lennells, who picked up an injury day one and was out for the whole season. Then we picked up this one, big bad boy signing, Glenn Johnson, formerly England international, former Liverpool player, and also on Chelsea, used to play for Chelsea. So he is now hopefully going to end his season in Scotland with Hibs. Got him on a one-year deal. Surely he can cut it up 
in the Scotch Prem. We also brought in J. Emmanuel Thomas, who could play across midfield and also up front. We picked him up uh, initially on trial. He did okay for us in, in trial. He's already since made his debut with an assist, so that's not too bad. Still got a couple of good years ahead of him, 27 years of age. We picked him up for two years uh, and we'll see how he pans out. We also got Andy Riminotta on a free transfer. We had, had him on loan. Didn't really make the, didn't really give him many games. In fact, we only gave him the one. Um, but I remember from my late and Orient days that in the second season he was amazing. Then we got in Paddy Madden, last minute dot com striker, scored for fun, forced Gunthorpe. Uh, hopefully he can score for fun for Hibs. He'll be bit battling with Murray and the like up front. So in this episode, we'll be taking on St. Mirren in the Scottish Premier Division and we'll play the second leg of our European League third round qualifying tie against Sion, which we drew 2-2. So we need to find a away win to keep our European adventure going. And then we'll wrap it up with a game against Hamilton at home in the League Cup. So this is going to be my start 11 for this match. Uh, going for a 3-4-3. So can we get our season off to a cracking start? But anyway, that's a quick rundown of the starting 11. Clover and goal, Hanlon, Lazzaroni, Ambrose, Tillman, McGinn, McGow, Quintongo, Dragomir, Murray and Fez, my new attacking lineup. So our opposition going with a 3-4-3, kind of similar to us, but a bit more defensive. And there's an early free kick for St. Mirren. Quintongo breaks the play. Here comes Fez. Got numbers with him. Dragomir is wide open. His shot is up and over. Little youngster. Youngster, a veteran and a proven goal scorer last season up front. Can they work it? Glover boots this out towards Fez. Bit of a, bit of a scramble in midfield. Tillman now, my little... My little superstar of the future. Murray has a shot and it's parried by St. Mirren's keeper. Corner is floated in, but not a good one. McGuinness, that name rings a bell, not that McGuinness. Uh, got Madden on the bench. I believe he could be a good signing if it can get him some game time and uh, get an early goal for the boy. McGinn to drag on here. It's brought down, but uh, highlight continues. McGinn cleans up, drag on here. Fez is there. That's a nice, nice start for the boys. Can they prove to be a uh, a trio that uh, a goal scoring trio? Saint Mary booted out, and they now are attacking themselves. Quintongo hustles and the bustles to Glover. But here comes Saint Mary. Riley floats it in there. Morgan Glover's there. Safe hands, Glover. Fez with the throw to Tillman. Fez gets it back. McGinn slips into Murray. His shot is parried. It's going to go out for a throw. So, second half gets underway. Hibernian kick us off. Uh, it is a bit of a unfamiliar starting lineup. And that could have been dangerous if Fez was on his game. But he didn't really deal with it. And McGow is going to be brought back and dealt with. Gets a yellow. Quintongo with a throw towards Fez, but it's blown. Here comes St. Mirren, but it's broken up by Hibbs. Dragomir now looking for an option. Picks out Fez, and that is a belter of a goal. Second of the afternoon for Fez. Second assist by Dragomir. And right now, I know it's very, very ridiculously early days, but we're top of the table. Murray slips in Fez, going for a hat-trick. Oh, could we have found a stinking super bye? Three goals for Fez, a hat-trick debut. And this is actually not bad. Smith for St. Mirren. Slips in Morgan. Riley's header straight at Glover. Lazzaroni. Quintongo heads it clear. Only as far as McGinn for St. Mirren. Hornby. Erskine. Morgan. Erskine over the top for McGuinness. And that goes over. I might bring on uh, Madden in just a second to give him a couple minutes. Fez is dealt with. Here comes St. Mirren now. Erskine to Hornby. Back to Morgan. Erskine. Hornby, Smith, it's in, but Glover puts out for a corner. He would want to keep a clean sheet on his debut. Well, it's not really his debut. We've uh, we have been playing some Europa games, and that's over the top for Fester Chase. He's got man support, but he's going to be greedy. I don't know why he wants to be greedy. He's got three. So let's uh, change it up a hair. 
So three substitutions. Uh, who do we bring on? Glenn Johnson for his debut. Joey Barton's in there. And Paddy Madden for his debut. Can he get some action up front? That's over the top for Murray to chase. He does get a second fiddle. And he should have tucked it in the back of the net there. But no joy. St. Mirren now looking themselves to get an attack. But no. It's hurried out by Hibbs. It's punched forward to Murray. Tries to slip him mad. He's going to chase this down. Floats it in there. Barton should have tucked that in with his noggin. But no joy. Here comes St. Mirren now. Erskine over the top for Riley. McGuinness. His little effort is not a bad one. Glover's at the stretch, but it goes out for a goal kick. Corner. Hibbs. It's cleared. Madden will get to it. To Quintongo. Johnson. Botched up. Quintongo gets it now. Hanlon. Barton. Tillman. To Madden. Back to McGow. Barton slips it through to Dragomir. He gets on the score sheet. Well, we've got some tasty looking forwards this season. Wasn't too sure on this Dragomir. As it creeps and crawls towards 90. Here comes St. Mirren. Smith. Riley. No clean sheet for Glover. 4-1. And we have reached the allocation of 93 minutes. And there's the final whistle. Hibs 4. St. Mirren 1. So that result, folks. Very early days. But it puts us top of the table. Okay, folks, here we are with the second match of this video. It's a big one. Europa League, third qualifying round, second leg against Zion. In the last time that we two, that these two sides met, ended up being 2-2 at Hibernian. Uh, you didn't get to see it, but here's a quick recap of what went down. Obviously, Joey Bond got himself sent off. So did Ambrose, who so we were down to nine men towards the back end of the, of the match. Simon Murray scored for us. So did Tiffany. I keep saying that. Timothy Tillman got a, a, an equaliser on the 89th minute. Uh, so it wasn't pretty, and we've got it all to do in the uh, return leg at their place. So my starting level for this match is like this. Glover in goal, Lazzaroni, Hanlon, Erkstrand, Georgian, McGow, Silvica, Tillman, Swanson, Quintongo, and Murray up front. And our hosts going with a 4-2-3-1. Let's go, boys. Tillman. Swanson tries to feed it through to Murray, but no joy. Glover boots this out towards Swanson. Here comes Sion Ramirez. Tillman breaks it up. Murray holds up play for Tillman to chase this down. Can he get a cross in? Swanson turns and shoots. It'll be a corner, and he will take the result in corner. And he gets a second bite of the cherry. Matrushkin. That's not bad pronunciation, but the safe. And here come Sion now. Wolf. Nice triangles, but no real actual possession. But they eventually get away to Adrian, to Aqua Francesca, to Ramirez, Yartley. And Glover is forced into an early save. This is all within the first 10 minutes. Corner, Ramirez, head of clear. Quintongo now to Swanson. Can he do something with it? Miguel to Murray the chase, but that is going to be a dead highlight. <laughs> so just under 10 minutes gone. Nil nil. <laughs> The Vuvu -Vu Zaylas in the background cheering on Hibbs. Come on, Swanson takes a punt. Erkstrand, no, it's out for a throw. Georgian, Swanson loses it. Here comes Sion. Eventually broken up by Swanson. Murray has to shoot from distance. No joy. Here comes Sion. Wolf crosses it in there. DeMarco's off the post. Georgian clears it. And Hibbs can breathe a sigh of relief. Goal kick towards Murray, but here comes Sion looking very, very menacing. Yartley's in there. Adrian's got the goal. It's 1-0 on the night. 3-2 on aggregate. Is there any way past these Swiss demons that is Sion? Watson coming on for the injured. Georgian forced into a change for the first 20-odd minutes. Ramirez, his free kick is dealt with. Swanson keeps it alive for Hibbs. Tillman to McGow. Cross it. San no, that shot is woeful. Matrushkin with the goal kick. They're going to work it from the back. Uh, here's Adrian. Is he the goal scorer? I'm not too sure. Uh, Yardley to DiMarco. Crosses in there. Handed. Clear. Swanson. Only as far as another uh, Scion player. Wolf. Nicky to Adrian. Lazzaroni's, you know, dealt with. And that is 2-0 to Scion. And it looks like they're going to be in the next round. Or is it? Can Hibbs bite back? We need a goal, and we need one now, preferably before halftime. Uh, do we have the players to do it? I don't know. 
Aberdeen look comfortable in their game against Vienna. Punks. Hibbs now. Throw in. Quitongo can't get onto this. DiMarco does for Sion as they look for the third, which would be devastating. And Adrian to Aquafresca over the top. No chance for Glover, but it's no chance for anybody. It's still... It's only 1-0. Something must have went down with that one. No, I'll, I'm happy. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. But we're still attacking. Here comes Ramirez. That shot is wide. So, but we still need to go. And we still, actually, we need two of them still. Tillman. Silverka. Okay, we got one back, boys. We got one back. We need another. We need one more goal. And Aquafresca is injured. They're forced into a change. And Guberman comes on. So two substitutions in the first half. As we creep and crawl to half time, Aberdeen looking comfortable, very, very comfortable. They should be already packing their bags for a Euro trip. So the second half gets underway. We are still looking for that elusive second goal. 2-2 uh, two -two on the night will put us into extra time. But if we can get 2-1 win, then we will we'll make it through. Free kick for Swanson. If ever I needed someone to put a ball in the back of that, it is now. We are now at the 50-minute mark. Looking at my substitutions, might bring on the Fez. Um, he did bag a hat trick uh, last time out in our last match, and that will be a corner for Sion. They're in a bit of a hurry to take it, don't know why, because right now they're going through. Adrian crosses it in there, Lazzaroni deals with it. Miguel, nice control. Glover with the goal kick, boots it long towards Silverka, given away though very cheaply. And here comes Sion, a second goal will really make it an uphill struggle for Hibbs, but right now they just need the one. And Glover with the save. Hannon, goal kick to Tillman. Goal kick, free kick to McGow. Silverka, the goal scorer. I don't know. It just, we just not look good up front today. Ramirez to Wilder. That shot goes wide, loopingly wide. And now I'm looking to make changes. Here comes the Fezmeister. Who should come off? Uh, Quintongo, I'd say. Swanson out wide. Attack. That'll do. That's the second sub. Silverka. Quintongo. Overlap. Watson. McGow. We are in front. Oh my goodness. I know last season's match against Celtic was a. Uh, yes. Was a nail biter. But this is unbelievable. If we can hang on. Hanlon. I, I might need to switch that off. I'm scared. Defensive. Big tackles coming in. Urshan to Tillman. Miguel. Come on, Tillman. Get a third. That would be absolutely bonkers. But no. And we're getting greedy. We're getting greedy now. Matrushkin boots this long. Urshan deals with it. Hanlon to Tillman. Over the top of a motor chase. You've got a man in the middle. If you can get across. Oh, Fez. Fez, son. You really, really could have uh, sealed the deal. Hang on in there, boys. Please hang on in there. Last 20 minutes. We are defensive. Matrushkin plays that from the back. Kasami. Yartley. DiMarco. Yartley. This looks a long-winded highlight. Uh, I'm going attacking. Pussyfooting around here. Miguel. Silverka. Fez. Here come Sion to really ruin it. And Ramirez puts it wide. Corner, a free kick for Sion. Glover holds. Corner for Sion. Oh, they'll get another one. From the other side, Silverka heads it clear. Adrian, dealt with. Here comes Swanson. He's on his own, though. He's brought down by DiMarco. Doesn't really count. Nothing, nothing amounts to it. Here come Hibbs. Can we... Can we find a stinking winner somehow? McGow, McMurray, Fez, Swanson. Somebody put it in the back of the net. It's kept alive, though, by Sion. And they counter with numbers. Lazaroni's there to clean up. It's 2-2 two -two on the night. 4-4 four -four aggregate. Looks like we're going to go in injury time. If I, or added time, extra time. Dare I say it? Matrushkin boots it out. Broken up. Fez, Watson, Swanson. Murray, oh my days, what a wonderful winner. That has to be the winner. That has to, that's three. They only need to score two goals now. They only need to score two goals. Surely that's enough. Surely that's enough. 
Free kick. Is that a penalty? No. Lazzaroni. Tillman. Over the top. Come on, boys. There must be guns blazing now, trying to get uh, themselves back into it. They Here they come. Sion trying to get a third, which would still not be enough. They get the third. It is we need to flip in. I don't know what we need to do. Contain. Something like that. Straight from kickoff. Keep possession, boys. Keep possession. Concentrate. Oh, blow up, ref. Blow up. Blow up. Blow up. I'm done. I'm happy. Keep it. No. No. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Come on, ref. There we go. Unbelievable. What a monstrous, monstrous result. Holy shite. Oh, and that result is unbelievable. Look at that. That's Elsa and Aberdeen 3-3. And that, folks, is where I'm going to leave you. I was going to do the uh, League Cup match against Hamilton, but that got postponed. Uh, we need a breather after that one. So we're into the next round of the European qualifier. So, so in the next episode, we'll take on Genk in the second leg of the European League, fourth qualifying round. That'll be the second leg. And then we'll take on Rangers in the Premier League and see how far we've come since last season. If you've enjoyed this video, you might want to check out my other two game saves, Glory on the Rhine featuring Schalke and Nulfia, and Reach for the Summit featuring Real Sociedad. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now.